Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to share a few spring additions I've made to my wardrobe from some recent Saison and Zara hauls that I've done. And I also wanted to show you a few new pieces that you haven't seen yet. Now, if you are new to my channel, I make lots of fashion videos, including hauls and try-ons, styling tips, fashion trends, and I show you how to look chic and modern at any age. And I post twice a week, so please subscribe to see more from me and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video, which by the way is going to be a spring trends video featuring Zara, H&M, and a few other wonderful brands. Okay, let's begin. I would have loved to keep all the tops from my recent Saison haul, but I settled for my two most favorite ones, starting with this Maggie top. I've never been a fan of denim or chambray tops, but this blouse was irresistible, most likely due to the dainty embroidery and the very feminine puffed shoulders and sleeves. The color blue is also very new for me because I'm usually more of a neutrals girl, but I've lately been craving color and I think blue complements my olive skin. This top is made of 100% organic cotton and it's of a medium weight, so it's a great piece to enjoy throughout spring. It's very comfortable, but also makes me feel very elevated. Now, just like denim jeans go with anything, you can treat this top in the same way. I'd love to pair it with a fun spring trendy color, but I've stuck to my safe neutrals here and opted for my cream colored paper bag shorts from All Saints. I absolutely adore paper bag styles and I'll keep wearing them even after the trend is over. To finish the outfit, I paired it with these adorable little Kate Spade espadrilles that I've had for a couple of seasons now. And I am so glad that espadrilles are still trending this season because they're one of my most favorite flat shoes to wear. Next up is this incredible creamy blouse from Cezanne. I don't know where to begin with this top, I love it so much. It's a very lightweight viscose fabric with a lining to help keep me modest, and I couldn't resist this stunning floral Russian doll pattern. I just love how Cezanne embraces femininity. I love the frilled collar and these sheer puffed sleeves. I would love to pair this top with a sexy pair of vegan leather trousers for date night, but I've given it a more casual feel here with these high-waisted jeans from And Other Stories, and I've kept the outfit simple to let this gorgeous blouse have its moment in the spotlight. I love Zara for their fun, inexpensive, trendy styles, but I actually just chose to keep some spring basics this time around to help add some versatility to my wardrobe. I'm really a fan of paper bag styles and I love these denim shorts from Zara. It's a great structured fit and I love how the legs open wide to help give my legs a slimmer look. These types of wide leg shorts are very super flattering. The pockets are also very deep, not that I'm going to be using them, but it's nice to have them. The paper bag style helps give me a waist that I don't otherwise have, and I love to pair it with something fitted on top to balance out the volume, like a bodysuit. But in this case, I've paired it with this gorgeous ultra feminine lace Pauletta blouse from Cezanne. I picked this up in the January haul, but I'm pretty sure it's still in stock, so I'll link it below in case you want to go shopping, and I'll also link anything else that is still available from this video. And I finished the look with these fun booties, which I usually wear all year round. I decided to keep this halter neck bodysuit. I needed a black versatile piece that will carry me through from season to season, and this piece was absolutely perfect. Plus, I can wear a racer back bra under it and no one can see it. I picked it up in a size medium, but I think I could have easily sized down to a small and perhaps gotten away without wearing a bra. This bodysuit goes with everything, but I've paired it with a fun, edgy, distressed denim skirt from Rag & Bone. The length is perfect and leaves enough leg to keep the look elongated. 
I finished the outfit with these cute lace-up espadrilles I got from Barney's ages ago, and I'm so glad they are trending again this year. I know t-shirts are supposed to be a staple in everyone's wardrobe, but I find them extremely boring. And so when I do purchase one, it needs to have a little bit of style to it. And I came across this oversized boxy tee on Zara's website, and I gave it a try. It's still a very basic piece, but it has a little bit more substance to it, a little visual interest with the cut of the shoulders. This is not one of those muscle tees because it does not have shoulder pads, but I do have very broad shoulders naturally, so it's kind of giving me that look nonetheless. Now since it's a very boxy, oversized tee, I've paired it with these ultra-slim cigarette pants from ASOS. The high waist on these pants makes it look like my legs are a mile long, so I really love that. Unfortunately, they're from last year, but I'll try to find similar ones and link them down below for you. I love to stick to only one voluminous piece per outfit to help keep proportions in check. So this boxy tee paired with these very slimming pants is absolutely perfect. I came across these faux leather shorts in Zara's sale and thought to myself there must be something wrong with them to be on sale, but they are actually absolutely darling and perfect for spring and summer. I love the sleek fit of them and they are very comfortable. I think they are timeless and can hopefully enjoy them for many years. I kept the look classic and paired it with this simple white button down. This is a timeless look and can easily take you from day into evening depending on your shoes and accessories. Before I show you the next piece, I wanted to quickly remind you to please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content from me. I'm really trying to grow this community of women that love chic and modern and sophisticated style, so I'd love to see you back here for another video. I've only been on YouTube for just a few months now, and my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by my six month mark, and unfortunately I'm a little behind on that. So. Please help a girl out. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more from me, please, please subscribe. All right, let's get back into the haul. Now moving on to some new items you haven't seen yet. I'm loving the white trend for spring and these gorgeous trousers from Vince are quite the statement piece. They are a mid-rise and have a wide leg and that is another really hot trend for this season. They are very long, so they're absolutely perfect for those tall, sexy heels I always love to wear. Now again, because these pants are so voluminous, I needed to give myself some shape, so I paired it with this bodysuit from Zara. Now this is a very sexy look thanks to that deep V on this bodysuit, but you can easily add a blazer over it or a cardigan, or just change out the bodysuit for a little bit more of a modest one and give this a whole new look. Now speaking of blazer, I found this anthropology blazer and thought it was perfect for spring. I think a blazer is a really great way to elevate an outfit and I've only recently started incorporating them into my wardrobe. I can't believe I've missed out on them for so long. I love the lighter color and the colored stripes are great for spring, but I think this can also be a very multi-seasonal piece as well. I've used it here to tone down this very sexy plunging neckline from this bodysuit. Now this is a very sexy look that I would wear out on a date night with my husband, but you can easily swap out that plunging bodysuit for something a little bit more modest and casual for a day look instead. This next piece is my most favorite find from the season so far, and honestly I can't believe I've lived without one of these for so long. I managed to find this on Poshmark and it's this vintage trench coat from the 70s or 80s and it's in absolute perfect condition. This is my new obsession. I think it elevates an outfit and I love how it accentuates my waist. Now if only I can find more opportunities to wear it here in Southern California. 
This makes me feel so chic and sophisticated, and despite its utility look, it still feels so feminine. I can easily pair this with a very casual outfit in the daytime, or carry it out through to the evening with a very chic and sexy look underneath. Okay, so this next item, or I should say items, are from Amazon, and it's these four inch heels. I initially bought them in white, and I loved them so much, I actually purchased them in nude, pink, and black as well. You can't beat the price, and they are very comfortable, despite the height of them. I really love them, and I'm actually considering purchasing more colors. I think there's like 20 colors available on the Amazon website, so I'll link them below for you to check it out. Now I know these may not be feasible for everyday wear, but I think they're a perfect way to dollop an everyday outfit and give yourself a little bit more of a sophisticated and chic look and feel a little bit more polished. I know I always feel more polished when I'm wearing heels. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this haul and the new format that I'm trying. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Let me know if you like this type of format and the way that I presented each item. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to like this video if you stayed until the end. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with my next haul.